welcome to Ryan's World! Hey everyone, this Easter, me and my family got invited to the White House for their annual Easter egg roll. There were lots of fun games, live music, and even characters from some of our favorite shows. Before the Easter egg roll began, we got to hear a story read by the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden. She's married to the President. She's a teacher herself, and we had a lot of fun listening to her read. Dr. Jill Biden. Okay, hi, everybody. Happy Easter. Hi. How many of you know Brown Bear? Yay. Oh, a lot of you. Wow. Red Bird, Red Bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children Yay! looking at me. Enjoy the Easter egg roll. Don't forget to see the dinosaurs way down there. Take care. Next, it was time to roll our eggs. The Easter egg roll has been a tradition at the White House for over a hundred years. On Easter Sunday, the White House lets children play on the South Lawn and see who can roll their Easter egg the fastest. I was really good at it. After the roll, we got a special commemorative egg for participating. After the egg roll, we went exploring. There are a lot of cool buildings and monuments there, like the Washington Monument. It's the tallest building in the Washington, D.C. So we're almost to the next monument. What is that right there, Ryan? Do you know? It's the penny. <laughs> the penny? That's on the penny. That's the Lincoln Memorial. Do you guys see it? It's that's tail. on the penny. Let me show you guys. We're going to just all go and take a closer look. So this is the World War Memorial. Look, there it is. The Lincoln Memorial. Look, there's a giant statue of him inside. For dinner, we went to a show at a place called Medieval Times. They served us food inspired by what real knights would have eaten in the Middle Ages. We watched knights compete in horse races, sword fights, and even jousting. Jousting is when two knights try to knock each other off their horse using long sticks called lances. Ouch! Good thing they have lots of armor. The next morning, Emma and Kate visited this awesome playground. There were spinning monkey bars. A rainbow tunnel for climbing on. 
Wow. Wow, I am impressed. Wow, how are you gonna get down? A giant maze. Oh no, we're lost. Oh yeah, we're gone. <laughs> and a squirrel. But he was kind of shy. We had so much fun on our visit to Washington, D.C. Thanks to the White House for having us. Bye. Hey guys, I'm on an airplane right now taking a world trip because Pat told me that Robo Combo stole five gyms from the Museum of Gyms. And he scattered it all around the world. So I'm gonna go find them. Let's go. Whee! Woohoo! Oh, this sure is one bumpy ride. Okay guys, I'm here at Ryan's World World Tour Airport. All right guys, I'm at the airport. Let's go check in. Welcome to Ryan's World Airport. There are strict rules here. Rule number one, no playing around. Oh, easy enough. Rule number two, do not drink anything. No water? Rule number three, no running. Do not run anywhere. Okay, I won't run. All right, follow me. Check in the baggage, please. Okay. Put any electronics in this tray, like such as iPad, phone, anything. Okay, got my iPad here. Okay, thank you. Oh, don't forget your shoes. Okay. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And here you go. Thank you. All right, everything looks good. All right, let's turn on this scanner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, those two things are okay. All right, let's do the uh, suitcase. Okay, put it like this, nice and secure. All right. All right. All right. Turn it on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Guys, did you hear that sound? I better check his suitcase. Oh no! I'm pretty sure I didn't bring anything that I wasn't supposed to. Security! Security! But I didn't do anything! And nobody's here! No, oh, he's coming. There he is. Hello, I'm the security officer here. What seems to be the problem? Suitcase? Let's take a look. Where did he come from? And where did the other guy go? Oh, sir, please step forward. Okay. No talking. Mm. May I check your luggage, sir? Yes. Okay. Let's see what you got inside. Oh, how thirsty are you? I see no drinks inside the suitcase. Oh, and there's so many. All right, I'll just keep these for me to drink later. Oh. No, no, that's my drinks! What if I get thirsty on this world trip? Fine, you can keep one. Here you go, sir. What? Only one? I brought nine more! Alright, rules are the rule. Alright, now you may go. Finally, I can continue. Whoa, 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 hold there, sir! What now? And how did you even get there? Look slowly, please. Step aside. Okay, let me check. Let me turn on this metal detector. Okay, you're clear. You can go forward. Finally, I can continue. Next! Okay, uh... Passport. Uh, Ticket. Oh. Passport. American? Yep. Sightseeing? No, for business. Business? How many days? Hopefully just one day. Oh. Next! Next! Ooh, that security was tough. Well, we made it in Paris. And it 
Paris, the capital of France. Oh, welcome to Paris. I'm the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I didn't know Eiffel Towers could talk. Someone put a magical spell on me. Oh, do you know what I am made of? No, what are you made of? Here's a hint. Uh, name something that is magnetic. Iron? Magnifique. Now, what are you here for, Ryan? Croissants? <laughs> so Robo Combo has stolen five gyms. Have you seen any of them? Oh, I think I have one hidden inside of me. But you must complete my challenge first. <laughs> oui, oui. Okay, what is it? Well, you must create a mini Eiffel Tower out of building blocks. Yeah! You have one minute, my friend Ryan. Start! Okay, uh, uh, uh... First, I should do this, and then put this here, and then do this, and then put this here, and then, oh, fell down. Uh, uh, use this, and then put another one here, and put that one. Okay, one right here, and then one right here. And then I need to connect them together. So, like this. You gonna... Eiffel Tower. Whoa! Good job, Ryan. He looks just like me. Okay, where's my gym? I will teleport it to your end right away. Okay. Thank you, Eiffel Tower. But why is your name Eiffel Tower? Is that because you fell? I never fell before! My name comes from Gustav Eiffel. His design company designed and built me. But why did he build you? I was built to be shown in Paris at the World's Fair in 1889. Oh, that's so cool! Well, we got one gym, four more to go. Let's go find more gym. Au revoir, Ryan! Safe travels! Guys, I'm in China! Look! Let's go find Jim in China. Guys, I'm definitely in China because I see a panda bear, a dragon, and a pagoda temple. That's right, Ryan. I'm the Pagoda Tower. You can tell because of my multiple levels. One, two, three, four, and five. We aren't just in China. We're also in Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and many more places. Yum, 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 yum. I hear someone nearby. Wait, are you Combo Panda's cousin? Combo who? I'm just trying to enjoy some of these fresh bamboo leaves. Mm. Well, he's my friend, but have you seen any gyms lying around here? Oh, I think I know the gym you speak of. Yum, yum, yum. I bumped into it while looking for these tasty bamboo leaves. Yum, yum, yum. You can have it if you complete my challenge. What challenge? Well, the Chinese New Year Festival is coming up, and I'm so excited to see the dragon dance. If you can do the dragon dance for me, I will give you this gym. Okay, so like this. There, can I have the gym? No, <laughs> you may want to consult the dragon for some dance lessons. Oh, um, hi, how can I help you? Hi, Mr. Dragon, you're so long and tall. Can you teach me how to do the dragon dance? Sure, Ryan. I'm in a good mood, too, because of the Chinese New Year Festival coming up. Try using the Dragon Puppet. They can help you practice your dragon dance. Puppet Dragon Dance time! If you keep practicing for 10 years, then perhaps I can teach you the true dragon dance. All right, Panda, what do you think? Can I have the gym now? Yum, yum, yum. Okay, 
Here you go. Okay. A red gem for good luck. Yay! I hope you enjoy your adventure, Ryan. Don't forget to visit the Great Wall of China next time. The Great Wall of China? That sounds cool. Where is it? Did you know the Great Wall of China goes through Beijing and many other cities too? It's more than 13,000 miles long and it's also over 2300 years old. Whoa, that is old. It's so amazing that it's still standing. Well, I'm gonna go now. Bye. And I'm gonna visit it next time. Nom 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 nom. Delicious bamboo leaves. Oh, I could eat these all day. They're so good. In fact, I have to eat 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo leaves every day because they have lots of fiber and fiber is yummy. Hey guys, I think I'm in Japan because look at this beautiful koi fish pond. Hi, konnichiwa. My name is Ryan. Konnichiwa, Ryan-san. Welcome to Japanese temple. Whoa. Actually, I need your help. You see these koi fish? Yeah? There are four koi fish missing. I think they're playing hide and seek. You know, koi fish are very intelligent fish. Okay, I'll find them for you. But in return, can I get the gym? Because Peck told me that there's a gym in this Japanese temple. Okay, deal. I was a koi fish. Where would I be? <gasps> oh wait, there he is. Hi there, Ryan. I'm gonna take you back to your koi fish pond now. <laughs> Here's another koi fish. I'm gonna bring you back to your koi pond. Wait a minute. I hear more splashing sounds. There's another one. I'll bring you back too. All right, here's the fourth koi fish. Now let's bring them back to their pond. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, I got your koi fish now. Have you found the gym in the temple? Yep, while you're looking for koi fish, I found this gem. Thank you, Ryan. There you go, you can have it. Whoa, this is exactly what I was looking for. Arigato. Do itashimashite. Next time you come to Japan, don't forget to visit Fuji Mountain. It's the tallest mountain in Japan. <gasps> okay. All right, good luck to your journey. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go to the next place. Here in Egypt. And how I can tell is become here is the Egyptian pyramid. So the gym must be somewhere. You have to do the classic mummy walk. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Put your hands out. Kay. Hold still. There we go. All right, Ryan. Your job is to walk across the room without dropping the blocks. Okay. 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 okay I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay. 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 Okay, did it! Yay, I did it! Congratulations, Ryan, for completing the mummy walk. Put out your hand and receive your prize. Okay. 
Zing! Yay! Thank you for stopping by, Egypt. Good luck, Ryan. Okay, bye! I'm gonna go find the other gyms now. Okay guys, this is our last stop. It's London, the capital of England. Ah, that's so loud! Oh, it's a giant clock tower. Hey, who are you calling a clock tower? I have a name, you know. My nickname is Big Ben. Well, if that's your nickname, then what is your real name, clock tower? Hey! You can call me Elizabeth Tower, named after Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom. And don't call me a clock tower, Big Ben will do nicely. Okay, Elizabeth Tower, or Big Ben Tower, or Clock Tower. Well, can you tell me how to find the gym, please? Sure, I happen to have the last gym, but you have to pass my test. Okay, then what is it? Well, since I am a clock tower, can you show time using only your arms? Okay. Time number one. Show me five o'clock. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five o'clock. Excellent job. Time number two. Try nine o'clock. Okay. Nine. Splendid job, Ryan. Are you ready for the ultimate challenge? Yes! Can you tell what time I'm showing and can you do it with your arms? 10.50. Okay, let's see. Is this good? Mm, close enough. Open your hands, please. Yay! The last crystal. I hope that helps. Cheerio, Ryan! Bye, Clock Tower! I mean, bye, Elizabeth Tower! Big Ben works too, you know! Hey guys, I'm back in the United States, and I know because this is the Statue of Liberty. Hi there, Ryan. I am the Statue of Liberty. Welcome to Liberty Island in New York. I have a very important question to ask you. What is it? I heard you're made out of copper, like a penny. But why are you green? Did they use paint? Good question, Ryan. I am made from copper. And the reason why I am green is because over time, water and air turn copper green. That's cool. Wait, over time? How long ago were you built? Another good question. Did you know that I was first made in France? and the French gave me to America as a gift. It took nine years to build me, and they finished my construction in 1885. Wow, you look good for someone so old. And also, do you ever get tired of holding your hand up like this? And what are you holding? I am holding a torch, which stands for liberty and freedom and a book that says July 4th, 1776. So Ryan, I have a challenge. How long can you hold the Statue of Liberty pose? Challenge accepted. Okay, well, I don't have a torch, but I found this. Okay, three, two, one, start. Five seconds. Three, two, one, You are doing great, Ryan, but let's see how long you can hold the pose. Super long time. Sometimes I take a nap in this pose. Just a little more. A super long while later. All right, and... <laughs> that was great. How much time was that? You held the torch up for a long time. Okay, Statue of Livery, I better go now. I gotta return the gyms. Bye! Goodbye, Ryan. Be careful with those gyms. Yeah, I'm gonna return them. Okay, guys, I'm gonna return the gym now. Bye! Thank you for watching Ryan the World World Tour. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Rise up!